Hi everyone, this will be a tutorial for a doggy sweater. I'm using Lana Grosser New Cotton Line and a 6ml crochet hook. This is a clover one. And we start with a slip knot. And then chain stitches for the length of your collar. And this will be the double length. If your length is long enough, we'll start with the first row and we'll crochet half double crochets for this yarn over. And insert your hook at the next stitch. So you have three loops on your hook and pull through all the three loops and this will be at half double crochet and then again And continue doing this until the end of the row. So this is the first row and now we have to chain one, turn our work and we'll continue crocheting half double crochets but not through the normal stitches. We'll use this extra loop on the front side. So we're not going as usual through the stitches here we will go through this extra loop. And again here, not the normal stitches, but the extra loop. And so on. This is the second row and on the back side you can see this. So we get some kind of a ribbing and this is why we crochet in this way. And the next row will be also you chain one and then turn your work and continue crocheting half double crochets. Yeah, and you continue with these rows, they do not change and we need the whole length for the collar. This is our collar and now we want to, to join these sides to have a circle like this or a tube and you can take a needle and sew this together or you can use your hook. So I'm going through this corner here and I take the loop and pull it through this corner, through this corner and then we slip stitch our work so you go through the work and then slip stitch like this. Until the end of the row. If you've done with this part, we can cut the yarn. And pull the yarn through the last stitch or through the last loop, tighten it. Now we can turn the work inside out. And now, now I will change the color. And then I take 
any stitch here so wherever you like and then pull through the new the new color and then I will make a knot like this and then I will chain one so first pull through and then chain one and I will continue also with half double crochets so yarn over and now we have to search for stitches so we do not have uh, any usual stitches here for crocheting and we will take any part of the yarn for example like this and then maybe something here and continue in this way for one round until we meet again here this is the first round and now I will need two markers and I will put them here and here so you have to flat your work or flatten your work and then you put a marker on this side doesn't really matter which stitch this is so you can choose any stitch but it should be this corner and on this corner and then we continue crocheting half double crochets so I will continue the next stitch as normal we are not using any extra stitches so now we are at the marker and now we have to increase we will crochet two half double crochets into one stitch so first I do this stitch one half double crochet and the next the second into the same stitch like this so we have now an increase here and then you continue one half double crochet in each stitch and you will also increase here and you continue doing this in rounds you don't have to join rounds, these are all spiral rounds without stopping. And you continue doing this until you have the width, the width which you need for your doggy. These are nine increasing rows and now we will crochet the opening for the legs. And as you can see here I have four markers and I have ten stitches in between. And now I will crochet a half double crochet to the next stitch where we have our marker. And then I will chain 10 stitches. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And then I will do a half double crochet into the stitch do the marked stitch so if you have for example five stitches here maybe you're using bigger yarn then you should also chain five stitches above then I continue crocheting half double crochets And then again chain 10 stitches and continue working in rounds without increasing. We continue crocheting half double crochets and we use the chain stitches.
And you do this in spiral rounds. This side also here and you continue doing this until we want to start with the back part. This is the sweater so far and I've reached the stomach section. The last two rounds will be joining rounds. So I will start in the middle. So in between here, I will start with a slip stitch and then chain one and insert a marker into the stitch to know where to start and where to end the round. And then I continue crocheting half double crochets until the marker. So this is the first round and now we can see here the marker. We will skip the next stitch and join into the marked stitch with a slip stitch. Then chain one and move the marker Then continue with half double crochets and join the second round the same way. We joined also the second round and now we will turn our work. We don't chain any stitches and we continue crocheting backwards half double crochets. And continue doing this until the marker again. So we have here one stitch left and I want to change the color and I will finish this last stitch with the new color. like this and we can make a knot okay and then turn your work and continue with double with half double crochets until the next edge or until the end of the row because we will always end at these sides and we'll continue doing this from side to side and we'll get we'll get an open triangle like this here and we'll, we'll continue doing this until we have the full length for the sweater.